Hi, welcome back to the ANS Way. And we have just got back from a for me, it was a three week trip to Europe where I went to the south of France, then to the UK, and then back to Paris. For Anne, he decided not to come to the south of France. But I did go to France. But you did come to France. I landed France. in France and then got the Euro Star. Yeah, Euro Star. Because there's Euro Tunnel and Euro Star, <laughs> yeah, which Euro. seems to amaze Americans because they don't okay. get that people have trains and they can go under the water and everything. But. Um, I got the Eurostar back to the UK. And we recently got back and we thought we would do a video on just our thoughts because what we realise is every time we go to the UK, our friends and family, they often ask very similar questions about what it's like. And we thought we would cover some of that, but also just some of our kind of what we think now. It's For me, it's been two trips back to the UK since living here. Brand, you've been three, three times, times now. The first question that we always, I think all my friends and family, and I think Ant got asked this um, by my brother, is do we not miss the UK? Is yeah. there not anything we miss about the UK? And I don't know if, would I say I always get asked that? We probably do, but I think in the context of the conversation we were having yeah. with your brother there, it kind of caught me off guard. I sat thinking about it for like, I couldn't think of something for ages. I think it really shocked him as yeah. well, because I think every, I think for anyone asking that question, they expect that you're going to say immediate, oh yeah, my friends and family. But I think Ant's, Ant goes further than that. It's not about the people, it's about yeah. the whole thing. And I struggled, I really struggled did, more yeah. so than usual. Uh, I just don't think it's a happy place. I think the more times I go back, the worse it, or not the worse it is, the more it reminds me of how stupid it was to live there in the first place. And just suffering constantly with traffic and all of the other stuff, I really struggled to find the reason or, or something that I missed. So I can't remember what I said to him, but I, I think can't. it was no. I think it's like no, <laughs> and I think that shocked him. He expected something and actually, for me, when I look at Anne, and I spent some time, so as we said, we arrived in Paris together, but I went to the south of France for a wedding, and then he went to the UK. When I joined him a few days later, I could definitely see his mood is different. He just doesn't seem happy in the UK. It's a life drain. Yeah. If anyone's ever played Halo, there's these life drain um, <laughs> grenades that you throw out that pull your shield down. That's immediately as I'm coming in, that's what happens. It's just not a fun place to be. I would say for me, every time anyone asks me, is there anything I miss? It, it will always be friends and family, 100%. Of course, I miss them. It's not the same. And it, sometimes you just wish that you can go and see them or go out for a meal or just that's do true. things with them. So that's But would thing. you give this up for that? Well, no, I haven't. So. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so no. <laughs> the other thing I do genuinely miss are our shops in yeah. terms of uh, the food shops. So Sainsbury's, Tesco, Groceries. grocery shops. I, I, You know what I've realized now as well, I've switched my language a lot. And because I came to the US and I was very much, no, I'm going to continue <laughs> speaking proper English and I won't switch. You realize it just becomes too You've hard. You've never spoken proper English. Yeah, no, true. <laughs> but yeah. I wouldn't switch to US terms like groceries. Yeah. And in the end, you realize it's just a lot easier. But I would agree with you on the, the grocery food shops. Way better, way cheaper easier to navigate, more relaxed. Everything here, you've either got the Trader Joe's, which are fun, but you pretty much go to Trader Joe's, then have to go to another shop anyway. Yeah, you can't do everything. You can only get about six items in there. Or you go to the Walmarts, oh, yeah. which are oversized and have some characters in and there. And then you feel dirty. Yeah, and then, and then you have the Albertsons. And it just, it's not the same. It's not the same as at home. I find our food shops are much better. And then alongside that, which I think we're going to bring up, the, the prices are surprising between the US, or the inflation on prices of basic necessities uh, was surprising going back. As we said, always get asked, what do you miss? Is there anything you miss? And then when we express how we feel about living in the US versus the UK. We often find then it's often followed up by a question which is negative in how it's said. And I will explain it's, oh, but the US has crime or are they, isn't there bad poverty? Isn't healthcare so expensive? So it's always followed up with, but surely there's all these bad things about the US. You can't like it that much more than mm. the UK. In nearly every instance, usually by 
people that haven't been or haven't really explored yeah, they might true, have just yeah, visited yeah. one spot like vegas the strip and that's their experience kind of you land you do three days you go home but there's always this sense of it you have to take better. something yeah, down yeah. it can't be positive so somebody doesn't follow up oh it's amazing you live there what are the good things about it or what's better than home it's oh but everybody dies by the gun there everyone's getting shot or nobody has healthcare. it's so obscenely expensive it's, it's yeah. always this let me chip it down <laughs> attitude yeah and it is often something and then we then have to proceed to explain well actually healthcare for us it's actually a lot cheaper and I'm learning about the healthcare system here and personally I, I've been suffering really badly for allergies and I've been referred and it was so quick for me from the moment I got the appointment they done the full lab testing they done the skin test and the medica everything was super quick within i think three weeks for me and that just would have never have happened yeah. in the nhs and i think i spent about 20 dollars in total for my copay yeah yeah so that's that's an example of where the things that people immediately throw out as negatives and then of course because there'll be people at home going oh yeah but that's fine for you well yes of course but the right. questions are directed to <laughs> us and then people still want to take that away which i find interesting but what i would say is it's a very british attitude of trying to see the negatives in things we have this thing of don't be too rich don't do too much of this. Don't be too successful. If you're too successful, do we want to bring you down? And for us, it's a little bit weird and probably why we live here, actually. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. The the other question we get asked a lot is, oh, um, don't you need a car to go everywhere to the shops? And yes, for us, that is pretty much true. Yeah. Where we choose to live, and that is a choice, we do need a car to go everywhere. We I can walk to parks, um, lots of parks nearby. We can cycle. You can walk to the mountains quicker than the <laughs> yeah, shops. You can. Exactly, yeah. It's way easier to walk to the mountains and go for a walk in the mountains than get to our local shops. Although we did cycle to the local bike shop. But that, that, was, that was far. Yeah, that it's was like eight quiet. miles away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that that's a fair point if you consider the US to be one small place. And I think we've mentioned this many times before. The US is about the size of Europe. So it depends on where you yeah, live. Yeah. Uh, if you choose to live in LA proper or Manhattan in New York, you don't need a car. You can use public transport system. And most places you can actually walk to. And a lot of people use bikes and scooters now, which you see a lot. Actually in France, completely off topic, but uh, what was really interesting is in France, so many people use electric scooters there. I don't know whether they've legalized it and the UK hasn't, or people just don't care, but it was so nice to see people using it as their mode of transport. Here, not so much. Firstly, there's nowhere to lock them up. Yeah. Uh, secondly, everywhere is still 10 miles away. In terms of needing a car, you can pick a place. I have lots of colleagues that lives, live in places where they don't need a car. Chicago, Chicago Boston, um, where they can walk to places. And I would say we've got friends that live in Henderson and she, one of our friends doesn't drive at the moment, but she will walk to the shops where mm -hmm. she, where they choose to live in Henderson. So you can be in places where you can walk and where we was before for the apartment, when we came, that the shops were literally across the road. So it just yeah. depends where you choose to live. The other aspect of going back to the UK and uh, what I was saying at the beginning of the video was every time we go back now, you, you start to notice things, like the real differences. So the first thing for me was definitely the traffic. <laughs> that has not gone. And I, so me and Anne arrived in the UK at different times and I ended up getting an Uber from Heathrow um, back to Ebbsfleet. And the taxi driver was just saying just how bad the traffic is. And he thinks it's worse than pre-pandemic for him. And it just led into this long conversation of just about how bad it is in and around at least the southeast of England. Yeah, you know? definitely the southeast. And yeah, I definitely don't miss that. There are places you can live which are traffic free. Yeah, even in the UK, um, you can, where we live and choose to be. And this is probably part of the reason why I don't, you land, you sit in traffic. You try and get to your friends, you sit in traffic. A journey for 40 minutes takes you two plus hours. That alone is enough especially when there's something you don't have to be subjected to that. So, I, yeah, I noticed, because I think yeah. as I got the train back, I could see the, the traffic on the road. The queue. And then I went to pick up a car, which is 15 minutes away, maybe not even 15 minutes. And it was just gridlock there and back. So you land day one, traffic, day two, pick up a car, traffic. I don't need this. The other thing for me was the weather. So this time... 
I would say, so I went during November last year, so it was freezing cold anyway, <laughs> yeah. so that was fine. I, it, was, it, it was as expected when I went in November. This time, I think we just missed the heat wave, which I am glad because I'm sure the apartment would have been unbearable. Yeah. No during, AC. No AC. And, but this time the weather, the temperature was fine, but what got me was mainly the fact that it was very gray. And you didn't, we didn't see much sunshine. And here in Vegas, we are spoiled in that yeah. almost every day there is sun. We did have, we had a week of rain, I think, this year. Do you remember? I know, but it's a spectacle when that happens. Yeah, it's, like, it's weird. <laughs> but it definitely affects your mood. And it definitely, even though it wasn't cold, just it being grey, I don't know. I didn't like it in that sense. I've never liked he it. So like nothing it anyway. to add. <laughs> <laughs> never. I knew that it was not for me. It's just like everything, if you had a tick box of pros and cons, I would tick all cons in the UK. Not all pros in the US, but definitely far more. I've always had this feeling of it was all wrong. Who would choose to live in the grey? Who would choose to be in traffic their entire life? Who would choose to get paid really poorly? Who would choose to have high taxes? <laughs> it's a madness, it's actual madness, isn't it? You must see yeah. this now. Especially when there are ways. There yeah. are ways for some, so yeah. Um, the the other thing, really minor, and some of you think this is ridiculous, uh, were bugs, spiders. There were lots of big spiders in this apartment. It's a ground floor apartment, so obviously these spiders are getting in. I had to catch no less than five spiders. At least. It was horrible, and we are a bit spoilt here where we don't really get any of that. And Well, yeah, we do, but we have pest control, and it's yeah. quite normal to have pest control, because that's not fair. We've had to catch quite a few here in the yeah, house but and you not, see them outside yeah i just it's just one of the things that you go back to the uk and you notice overall the amount of bugs, bugs flies and everything yeah. in general and it's something that i don't miss now of course that's not a us uk thing because no. there are places in the us that have equally as much as the when UK. we went to texas because yeah. of greenery yeah. it just happens to be where we live is really low bug the main thing that we both notice and the thing that's impacting everyone at the moment is the impact of inflation mm. uh, and this was interesting for me because initially aunt was ill so i had to go to the shops and it was quite interesting to pick up milk and bread and in milk. the uk or here in the uk yeah. while she was ill and I'd only just really had my first experience of going to the shops in the US oh. properly without when I started, what was it, the loaf of bread? Yeah, you thought that? it was just that shop. You, she took <laughs> a dislike into Sprouts, which is actually a really good Wasn't shop. It? No, it was Target. Target, which is one of the cheapest you can get. It's the next level up from Walmart. And she's like, it's too expensive in there. And because Selena's working, I do all Ooh, the you shopping. You might have offended people there. Next uh, level up from Walmart. No, it is. It's a step up from Walmart. And um, I remember you saying, because it was the price, I was like, oh, no, that's just... Yeah. That's how it is now. And going back to the UK, I know people are struggling, but here is so much worse. A loaf of bread, four to six dollars. Uh, I went out and I showed one of my old directors. Um, I bought two, four liters of milk or three liters of milk. I can't remember exactly. Twelve dollars. And that was with discount. And at home, it's still, I don't know, 150 for four pints, two liters. Yeah. Um, eating out here is crazy. So everything is like thirty dollars now. Everything is like the baseline. Trying to get our yard done. Doesn't matter what you tell them. I just want rocks. Forty thousand. Okay. How about rocks and grass? Forty thousand. <laughs> just <laughs> everything the is. The, there's a minimum to everything. Even now, if you go out and you try and buy pre-packaged, prepared beef, for example, that would just feed two people, you're probably looking at $20. At home, it's about six, yeah. five or six. 12 eggs here, $8.50. And remember, it's one to one now, pretty much yeah. the pound to the, the dollar. And what was it at home? Maybe three pounds? Yeah, so definitely sh food shopping overall in the UK was a lot cheaper. But also just uh, when we ordered takeaway or went out to eat, I found it was cheaper. And your energy US. bills, although you think they're high, they're low compared and we're not affected in the same way with the issues that are going on in europe but for some reason our energy is also astronomically high and there's people on our we're on this uh, local app where they're like i've switched everything off why is it still three <laughs> times as much as last year there's genuinely yeah. yesterday i saw the lady so she no longer uses her ac she's got all of her lights off and it was at least double last year when she was using energy for the world is suffering. It just seems to be inflation for everyday items has affected the US more so than the UK. 
Yeah, and actually, I think there is a video when we we compared the cost of living mm. um, of the UK and US, and I think it's one of the things when we talk about the salary and what you can get for the house and everything. I think that can be miss. There's a misunderstanding ultimately in the overall cost of living, and people will often think, "Oh, we'll go to the US. Oh, mm. Everything is a lot cheaper. I'll have more money. My house is a lot cheaper, and everything." But that's not necessarily the case when you factor in the services and everything else. I would still argue, overall, cost of living is less because salaries are so high. Yeah. I mean, d- double in a lot of cases. So and how you're, you're being taxed as well. Yeah, which we've like done in other of, yeah, and videos. Your expendable cash is different. Is higher. It's just if you get used to that lifestyle and then your bills are doubled or tripled, it still yeah. punishes you more so. Even though you have more available money to spend on it, you're probably spending it on there. How much does that, was our neighbour paying for their gym? $400, I think, they were paying. But you would never really hear. So in the UK, unless you're very wealthy, <laughs> nobody no pays that. that amount. It would 70 be pounds a month seems too much. Yeah, exactly. Let alone four, $400 makes no... There's so many of these services that they say to me, I'm just like, I don't know what wealth it's this is for. Yeah. It's a different one to one that we live in. So those are the things that we've either been asked multiple times or noticed. All I can say to close this out was I was looking forward to coming home <laughs> and I was super happy when I arrived home and people that I was sending videos of off my back they're like you seem way happier I am stop recalling me back to the UK <laughs> <laughs> and I would say absolutely the same I would think for me the last time when I went back in November I did come back and I felt a bit of oh I miss my family and friends and I think because it was such a short trip of 10 days it wasn't enough for me to miss Vegas that much this time I really missed. I actually could not wait to get back to Vegas. So for me, I did not miss the UK at all. <laughs> <laughs> so that kind of summarizes our feeling. <laughs> I'm very happy to be back in Vegas yeah. and in our home. And yeah, just happy to be here. So let us know what you think on our thoughts or the responses to questions that we get about the UK versus the US or how you feel about the UK versus the US, especially if you've moved out here, which we know a few, yeah, a few of, you have, of our yeah. viewers have, whether you're enjoying it as much as we are. Thanks for watching.